What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to the final Dark Matter Guide. We're going to be covering assault rifles today. We've covered every other weapon in the game, including launchers and the knife, and everything we've covered already. If you haven't seen those, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. But today, we're going to be covering how to get all of the camos for the assault rifles in Black Ops 3. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so just like with most of the other weapon classes, we have to get 100 headshots with the assault rifle before we unlock the final 5 camo challenges. And headshots for assault rifles are pretty easy because we have the high caliber attachment, which basically makes it one less shot to kill, assuming you get one headshot mixed in with your kill. So if you're playing core game modes, always run high caliber with your assault rifles, it makes it so much easier. Now I'm going to split these up into groups because they do kind of group together nicely. First we have the full autos. And the full autos include the KN-44, the HVK, the ICR, and the Man of War. With these ones, I find it's fairly straightforward. You play core game modes, pop on high caliber, and then I like to aim like upper chest or neck level usually, and this is to compensate for a little bit of recoil as well as flinch that might happen in your gunfights. So you end up getting kicked up into the headshot more often than not. And if you don't get kicked up, you can slowly walk your shot up on your own. Uh, because normally it'll take a few shots before you actually finish them off with that final headshot. Next up we have the burst guns and these are the XR2 and the M8. Again, I would still recommend using high caliber in core game modes with both of these guns. And with these ones I like to aim a little bit higher. Like the XR2 I usually aim about neck level because there is a small amount of vertical recoil so that kind of kicks you up into their head. You don't have to worry about flinch as much usually with burst guns because you deal all your damage at once essentially. With the M8, this has almost no vertical recoil, so I pretty much aim directly at their head when I'm using the M8 in core game modes. Actually, in hardcore as well, but we'll talk about hardcore in a second here. And finally, we have the two semi-auto guns, and these are the Shiva and the MX Garand. But I will say, you don't need the MX Garand. You don't need to get that gold in order to get Dark Matter for everything else. I just thought I'd throw it in here because it behaves exactly like the Shiva as far as headshots go. So the key with these ones is play core game modes, you don't want to play hardcore with these ones because they get all their advantage in core game modes. Use high caliber combined with long barrel. Now both of these guns get an insane multiplier with high caliber. They actually get a 1.8 times multiplier to the head, meaning you deal almost double the amount of damage if you shoot somebody in the head with these guns. Now the reason we also combine high caliber with long barrel on these guns is we get a 19 meter or roughly 19 meter one shot headshot kill potential with high caliber but when we pop on long barrel that doubles it to 38 meters so out to 38 meters we can get a one shot headshot as long as we're combining high caliber and long barrel so always combine those two attachments with these guns when you're going for headshots and always play core game modes Aside from that, you can use pretty much whatever you want on top of that. I know a lot of people don't like the iron sights on the Shiva, for instance, so I'd recommend going with some form of a sight, and then you can add other attachments on as well. Just don't forget to use high caliber as well as long barrel with these two guns. If you use that combination, these are probably the easiest guns in the game to get headshots with. So with the assault rifles, if you are struggling to get headshots with one of the assault rifles or several of the assault rifles, or if you just prefer hardcore game modes, I would recommend doing these headshots in hardcore, but there's one common misconception I want to point out. For several of these guns, you don't want to be using high caliber because you're completely wasting an attachment in hardcore. So the KN-44, the XR-2, the Man of War, the Shiva, and the MX Garand, they will all be a one-shot headshot at any range in hardcore without high caliber. So if you're using high caliber, you're completely wasting an attachment. So the only guns you want to use high caliber on when playing hardcore it's going to be the HVK, the ICR, and the M8. With high caliber, these will now always be a one-shot headshot as well. So in hardcore, it's very straightforward. You just aim directly at their head and you pull the trigger. You'll get easy headshots by doing this. So once you complete the 100 headshots for that particular assault rifle that you're working on, you unlock the final five challenges. And the first of those five challenges is the Ardent Challenge. This one requires you to get 10 long shot medals with that particular gun. Now this used to be very easy because there was a little trick that you could use where you use like a varic sight and you zoom out and there was some sort of a bug that allowed you to get very easy long shots by doing this. That was patched quite a long time ago so now it's much more difficult to get long shots with assault rifles. But I made an entire video covering this where I showed the long shot range that you need to be at with assault rifles in order to get a long shot medal as well as tons and tons of lines of sight throughout pretty much all of the base maps in the game 
that allow you to get these long shots very, very easily. So instead of going into great detail in this video, if you happen to be struggling with long shots, I will leave an annotation link right here as well as a link in the description below. Go and check that video out. That will make getting these long shots a whole lot easier for you. So next up, we have the burnt camo. And this one is the one where it requires you to get 50 kills with the gun without any attachments on that gun. And that's very straightforward. There's not really anything I can tell you here. Pop those attachments off and just get your 50 kills. After the burnt camo challenge, we have its counterpart, which is the bliss challenge, which requires you to get 50 kills with the gun with an optic and five attachments equipped, meaning you won't have any room for perks or anything. So again, this is very straightforward. Pop your favorite five attachments as well as your favorite optic on the gun and just go crazy and get lots of kills with it. Next up, we have the battle camo. And this one requires you to get two rapid kills five times with both kills coming from that assault rifle. And this one I find, especially with assault rifles, I usually complete this while I'm going for my long shots and my burnt and my bliss camo. It just kind of happens. So at first, I wouldn't even think about this at all. It'll probably happen on its own. But if you are struggling with this, I'd recommend playing either hardcore game modes, just because it's usually a whole lot easier to get multiple kills. Or I'd play game modes like Safeguard or Domination or Hardpoint, where enemies tend to group up together. If you're still struggling with this, I'd use a specialist like Heatwave, so you could like jump into a hardpoint for instance, or jump near a robot where there's lots of enemies, heatwave them, and that'll make for an easy double kill most of the time. And you can also spam stun grenades, which basically has a very similar effect to the heat wave. You just stun a bunch of enemies, jump in, and you should be able to kill them because they're pretty much defenseless most of the time. So finally, we have the chameleon camo. And this, just like with most of the other guns in the game, is get five kills without dying five times with all of those kills coming from that gun. Now, just like I've explained several times, with this particular challenge, you could get, let's just say you're working on the HVK, you could get four kills with the HVK, you could swap your gun and get a couple kills with that other gun, and then you still just need that one kill with the HVK, and it will count. Also, if you use the Rejack Specialist, if you get, let's just say again, you get four kills without dying with your HVK, you get downed, you successfully Rejack and get one more kill, that will count as one of the points towards this challenge. And finally, this does not carry between rounds. At least at this point, it hasn't been patched yet. Your life does not carry between rounds for this particular challenge. So. If you get four kills in one life right before the end of the round and you survive to the end of the round and then you start a new round, you actually start at zero again on that new round. Even though technically you're still alive, your score streak is still going, your bloodthirsty medals and, and all of that, they're still adding up, it doesn't count towards this challenge, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they'll fix it soon, but it is there. With the assault rifles, it's probably one of the easiest classes to get this done with. It really just comes down to your basic skills in the game. Make sure you're using cover, make sure you're navigating the map in a safe manner, always have an escape route if you get into a situation you don't like, always have a way to retreat out of that situation. I'd recommend using specialist abilities so that they don't actually steal these kills, because if you use a power weapon, then it just kind of breaks up this streak. But if you use, if you use abilities, they will actually help you get these kills with your gun, and that can definitely help with this. And there's really not much else to say about this aside from play the game modes that you're comfortable with and try and get these streaks. So there you have it. Once you complete all of these challenges for a particular gun, you'll unlock the gold camo. Once you get the gold camo for every assault rifle, excluding the MX Garand, you don't need to get it on the MX Garand, I just wanted to point that out. Once you get it for all of the other assault rifles though, you will get diamond for the assault rifles. And then finally, once you get diamond for every weapon and everything in the game, which we've covered in our previous Dark Matter guides, you will get dark matter. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.